Hello, my name is Enrique Cerezo and in this video I am going to give you some tips to help you uh, write and structure abstracts in English. This presentation is going to be organized as follows. First of all, I will define what an abstract is and why it is so important when writing an academic paper or a project. Secondly, I will show you how to structure your abstract. We will see an example and identify its different parts. After that, we will see some useful language um, that you can use to write your abstract. Finally, a conclusion will wrap up the main information covered. So the main objective of this presentation is to illustrate how to write an abstract for an academic paper following the textual conventions of this type of genre. As a practicing engineer, you will most likely need to write academic papers presenting your research results. Writing papers is perhaps the most important way to convey your ideas to other engineers a committee or customers. Your communication skills will therefore largely determine how successful you are as an engineer. Academic papers usually start with an abstract. And as you can read here, an abstract is a 150 to 200 word paragraph that provides readers with a quick overview of the information your paper or project deals with, how it is organized and the main results obtained. It should express the central idea and key points of your proposal and also suggest any implications or applications of the research that you discuss in the paper. It is Therefore, a presentation of what the reader is going to encounter reading afterwards. And it will also help the reader decide if reading the paper is uh, worthwhile. It is thus extremely important that abstracts uh, be a faithful representation of the research and be structured in an appropriate way. Your abstract should follow the um, IMRAD structure, that is introduction, method, results, and discussion. So um, abstracts um, usually spend more or less 25 of uh, the space on the purpose of the research, that is the introduction. 25% uh, percent of the space on what you did, that is the method employed to carry out the study. 35% percent of the space on what you found, the results. Here you should just touch upon the main results obtained, uh, but you can't talk about everything in great detail. That can be read in, in the actual paper. And 15% percent of the space on the implications of uh, the, the research or discussion. Don't forget that people use the abstract to decide whether to read the rest of the paper or not, so it is an essential element of your paper or project. Here you have an example of an abstract. Pause the video now for a few seconds, read it through, and identify the different parts that we have seen in the previous slide. The introduction, the method, results, and discussion. Have you finished? If so, check your answers. The first two lines will be the introduction, so starting um, here. Um, this paper analyzes and finishing here in the medical domain. Then we have the method used, starting here to answer this question and finishing um, here, that allows 2D or 3D view. In yellow, you find the main results. So, we have um, four lines, and finally, in green, the discussion. So, the rest of uh, the abstract.
Let's see now some useful language that you can use to write your abstract. So for the introduction, um, you can use sentences like, for example, um, this study or research aims to illustrate or examines uh, the role of or explores why, um, investigates the effects of or assesses the impact of something on something else. As part of uh, the introduction, you should also write the objective uh, of your work. So you have um, phrases like, for example, uh, this study of research has two, three goals, if, if there is more than one, or the objective of this research is whatever, or this uh, research attempts to aims at plus verb ing. That's, that's a right structure. Right, um, as part of the introduction, you can refer to previous uh, re research as well. So for that, you can use sentences like um, previous or prior studies or research indicate that or offer a descriptive account of or has uh, shown that whatever. Or literature on this area has focused almost exclusively on this, uh, drawing on um, research coming from this area, uh, we argue that, or um, another phrase that you can use, uh, today no systematic investigation uh, has considered whatever. To present your results, I suggest that you use phrases like um, the findings from this research illustrate that or suggest that the effect of um, whatever was Mm, whatever, as predicted or contrary to um, our expectations in the results, do not match our expect expectations. For the conclusion, you have phrases like the findings or results provide support for or support our hypothesis that whatever, or offer insight into insight is like understanding or prompt a rethinking of, prompt is like encourage, or just we can conclude that. A second conclusion. In this video, we have learned that um, an abstract is a paragraph that summarizes the most relevant information of your research or project. Um, the, uh, an abstract uh, follows a defined structure. So remember, we have the introduction, method, results, and discussion. If um, it is um, a formal piece of writing, you should use appropriate academic English so as not to compromise its academic rigor. And remember that it is an open door to other, um, uh, to your research in this case, that is other people will uh, decide to read your work depending on what you say in the abstract and that's the ultimate goal of any academic work. Here you have some useful links in case you want to delve into the topic a bit more. And that's all. Thanks for watching this video.